It's a little too cold to work in the garage today. We had a good snowfall last night. Even with this insulation, it's still too cold. This is our local park. What a beautiful scene today. A winter wonderland. Hello guys, just a quick update. It's finally a little warmer in the garage. Um, the snow is still here, but um, I've managed to spend a little time today just measuring the journals and I realize I need to get them professionally checked. But um, I thought I'd just take a quick inspection myself just with my limited tools and skills in this respect. Um, I've consulted the manual. So here I've got the, the good old Haynes manual and then I've got a, a, an original um, instruction book here, a Norton book, and the numbers are the same as far as the journals are concerned. So here we're looking at the drive side, the timing side, and the big end journals for the crankshaft. And then here, same again, crankshaft, that's uh, another model, that's the Manxman. This one here. Again, drive side, timing side, and big end. And what I've found is, starting with the big end journals, um, they're close to tolerance, but uh, there is some variation across the journal. So um, what I've found here, um, for the big end here, I've got on the timing side, uh, this is the journal and my <laughs> crude drawing, but what we've got is, um, it should be, uh, 1.7500 to 1.7505 inches and you'll see I've got a, a variation uh, of 1.751, 1.748 and 1.752 so essentially it's uh, wider on the outside than in the centre and it's actually the opposite on the other side so uh, for the drive side um, cheek so here we have I think that's 1749 1.752 and 1.751 so it bows if you like you know obviously a very small measurement but uh, it comes out a little bit more in the middle so um, I will have these thoroughly checked anyway and when it comes to the other journals uh, they're in much better uh, much better condition uh, which is, I guess, this is what I would have hoped. So here on the timing side, um, the tolerances are 1.1807 to 1.1812, whichever way you look at it, uh, high or low. And on the timing side, my recordings are on the outside, so nearest to the thread, 1.805 to 1.81. Sorry, 1.1815, and then the middle and the inside you'll see here from these measurements. And then on the drive side, I think again we're, in, we're within tolerance. Uh, that was the same right across the board, actually 1.1815 to 1.182 right across uh, the journal. So much more consistent on the drive side. So, um, that was my sort of amateur attempt to look at sizing the journals. Uh, what I haven't done yet, I haven't looked at the conrods, um, haven't taken those bearings or those shells apart yet. Uh, the camshaft looks to be in very good condition. I did give it a bit of a polish and it looks pretty nice. There was just a little bit of wear on the end of the lobes. You can see, maybe see that a little bit, I don't know. Um, that polished out. I just used like a chrome polish and didn't go too crazy as well. Just very lightly polished it and I think I'm going to reuse that. So especially given that they're $200 each. So and then here, look at that. Wow. That's my sludge and <laughs> that's a project for another day. What I'm going to try and do is kind of look through that with the uh, magnifying glass. I don't know if you can see a few little sparkles of gold in there or maybe it's not gold. Maybe it's just metal. But um, I don't think that's something to be too concerned about, given, you know, very, very small particles. But um, 
I think it's going to be okay once I've got everything replaced and reground. So that's it so far. Um, I hope that helped, but um, not much progress. But uh, And then in the background, I'm doing some research online and figuring out what my next jobs will be. All right. That's it for now, guys. Okay. See ya. Here's the bike, by the way. I don't know if I've shown you it for a little while, but uh, yeah, nothing much has happened on the bike itself. Um, I've mocked up sort of a seat pan uh, for a slimline feather bed uh, seat that I'm hoping to get at some point. Um, one thing I've noticed as well uh, is the center stand is too high. You see, it's actually off the ground there, and I know there's a little bit of uh, lift on the front wheel, but um, when I was clearing my garage out, I thought, well, I'll just wheel the bike out into onto the driveway. I'll put it on the stand that I'm so proud of, and uh, it, it didn't reach the floor. And so I think what I've got is a combination of a problem where the shock absorbers may be too long, because look at the angle on that shock. I think that should be, um, just horizontal and parallel with the ground maybe just a little bit uh, you know as I look at my other bike for example you see that's definitely definitely horizontal and I think the commando is the same as well you know it it's down a little but anyway I don't know if it if it compares with the commando but you'll see uh, as you look at that bottom frame here under the casing I think that that should be parallel with the ground um, and it is a little higher than I expected so I think it's a combination of the shock absorbers being possibly too long I'll measure those and this front wheel maybe not necessarily the stanchions being too long but you know something else going on there maybe I don't know about the profile of the tire whether that's a larger tire but it's 19 inch wheel which is right it's 18 inch wheel on the back which is right for an atlas so yeah that will be something a, a riddle to solve